Hey, good morning. Another weekend. Boy, it was a short work week for me with the holiday and then I took an extra day and wasn't bad. Uh, we kind of went by fast. So I'm out in the garage. Got kind of a late start. I got it's kind of a funny story. Um, a while back ago, my son changed cell phone carriers. He uh, switched, you know, I'm not going to get into naming all the different ones, but he switched from one carrier to the next. <clears throat> his phone was pretty much done. So with his carrier, he got a nice deal on a new smartphone, plus the the plan was really form-fitted to his usage and needs. So I had used up my contract with my current carrier and was just kind of doing month by month. Really didn't have an issue with them. Um, the only distress, oh, I guess if there was a problem, inside our factory we got a million square feet under roof and um, there signal just didn't work well at all so I decided my phone was acting up so I made the switch and yeah this is where my ex-wife would always say would you just get to the point well they offered a, a $50 referral so my son would get $50 and I would get $50 and then they had some kind of other sign up thing where we'd get a hundred dollars each of us. Well, I didn't know, you know, when you would get reimbursed that. I figured they'd just automatically credit that off your your next billing. But what they did was they sent something I mean it's just like a credit card. I mean and it's and then I'm thinking when I first opened it up and it's like, man, Everyone and their brother wants you to get their credit cards. And this is now this new phone carrier sending me, want me to get their credit card. So I thought I had this in frustration, just pitched it. And then I just kind of set it off to the side. I, I guess I had a second thought where I would just be, well, let me question my son about this. Because nowhere did there was no explanation on you know, when you would get the reimbursement for the 50 and 100, you know, how that would come about. Well, it turns out they send you a credit card or a card that's good for that amount of money and you take it to the uh, cell phone people and you can either pay your bill with it or, you know, I guess buy phone stuff, you know. <laughs> so, the hundred dollar one came and my son happened to be there and it's like man they keep sending me these credit cards want me to join up and I was getting ready to pitch it and my son's like whoa 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 dad you know you're throwing a hundred dollars away and I said what do you mean he said well you know when we got the fifty dollar and hundred dollar you know credit that's how they do they send you a card that's worth that amount and then you take it to the place where we bought our phones and you can either use it for your bill or you can buy whatever's in the store I said they might even just cash it out he said I'm not sure and it was like wow I, I, I think I threw the other one away <laughs> so today he was mentioning how he wanted to run into town and use his credit phone cards and, and pay his bill his is you know about a week earlier than when my bills do. And I said, well, I'll go with you. And I got the hundred dollar one, I'll, you know, I'll apply that towards the bill and they can just throw it against, you know, whatever next month's charge is. And we just laughed. He goes, man, dad, you just threw 50 bucks away. I said, yeah, I did. Well, this morning, cleaning up and going through the mail and the bills, guess what I found? <laughs> yeah, I found that a uh, little write-up with the card for $50. So man, 
I'm $50 richer today because I found what I thought I threw away. So today when we go to the phone carrier, I'll give them both credit cards and man, I'll, I'll get a couple months worth of phone service paid for. So bus, I told my son I'm not setting lofty goals. Uh, I just set myself up for disappointment. Um, so I got this new perspective where I will accept and be happy with anything I can accomplish each week on the bus. Well, Saturday was so beautiful. I really enjoyed most of the day. You know, I'd, I didn't spend a lot of time on the bus. I did get some work done. Um, got a heavy piece of metal in where the cargo floor needed patching and you can see where the patch panel wouldn't reach and then cut out the back of the passenger seat so today I'm gonna fill that in repair it and see how things go so um, we did go let me show you this setup I have a handbrake I'm not sure if you know I I might have picked this up from Amazon or I think it might have been Eastwood or Harbor Freight it's been a while but I didn't have a support board so when we went out to take care of our cell phone bill we swung by Menards and they had some drop-off pieces so they had this it was perfect I mean it was two by eight just a little over three foot and they charged me 55 cents a foot can't argue with that so I got it bolted in I have it clamped up I'm ready to break the flange this is going to be the patch panel that I'm going to make behind uh, it'll be a two-piece deal this will go behind the passenger door where it's real tall let me see if I can zoom in on her here we go yeah that one right there it'll go down and then I'll bend a 45 degree angle on it to weld to the floor see you let's see so I, you know I did a good thing I enjoyed the weather boy later in the day it really warmed up here in Iowa it got up to 90 degrees that was about the time we decided to go into town and you know take care of paying our phone cell phone bill and we had dinner too me and my son we went out and had lunch good conversation and always you know we're right there by Menards so I always have a reason to go to Menards so I got this drop off piece of wood you got the hand the brake bolted to it boy that that shouldn't have been as difficult and time-consuming as it was I countersunk the bolts underneath so if I sit it on a flat surface it'll be flat but it's it's down there and boy it's heating up today I can feel it let's see what the temperature is oh what do we have here yeah close to 80 at Eight thirty, almost. Wow, gonna be a warm one. A little humid too. So I'm gonna go ahead and bend this, and then I'll bring you back real quick to see how it turned out. This will be the vertical piece that put you in there. 
Let's see if it'll stand up there. So that'll be the vertical. This, if you see the radius that goes around the curve of the bottom of the seat, this will go on the bottom. And I flange that edge. There, I'll edit that out. So that will go in there like so. Well, there it is. Welded in. Now I think it's time to sit on that front porch of mine and have a little Gatorade and relax a little. Well, there it is. Not perfect, but got to grind it up. But it's solid. No holes. Woohoo. Making progress. All right. We'll turn her off.